I'm currently in search of a GoPro selfie cam because to be honest I'm quite tired of walking with my arm uh, in the air and also it looks a bit stupid and considering how long I have to do this for like every day um, can't be bothered so I find this electronics store I'm gonna go in see if they've got what I need a lot of the stalls on the street have selfie sticks but they're for phones and what I need obviously is one for a GoPro thank you so uh, oh going through a metal detector walking through the door for an electronic shop so unfortunately uh, as soon as I walked into the shop and through the metal detector the security guard was running after me saying you're not allowed to film which is fine um, but they don't do any selfie sticks not for phone not for GoPro nothing so we've been advised to go to a mobile phone shop I don't think a mobile phone shop would have a selfie stick for a GoPro um, but we'll see I just walked past this stall that had loads of crisps like packets hanging down behind them and a lot of the crisps that I tried in my snack video were hanging up there so that was some validation that what I actually uh, had was authentic so I've googled on Google Maps where can I find some GoPro products and apparently there's somewhere nearby I think it might be down there somewhere so I'm gonna take a wee walk and they should have a selfie stick and that would be great news for my left arm that's fed up of holding the camera okay so here's the shop that apparently does sell GoPro accessories thank you so let's see if they have what we need first floor cameras okay once again no luck and uh, he doesn't think we will have any luck either he didn't really have any ideas basically said go to Amazon so fair enough uh, I don't think I'll bother um, my arm will just get tired thank you another one bites the dust oh well walking down Park Street they've just got a lot of like Baskin Robbins and Starbucks and it's actually quite a western street it obviously doesn't look very western as you can see but the shops here it's like a mainstream hub I suppose of western shops uh, where I'm sure a lot of tourists like myself come we've decided that maybe a solution for all the kids that come up kind of like begging and they put their hand to their mouth like they need money for food um, even though like the parent is usually behind them like lingering we're not sure if they're just taking the money and doing whatever with it um, but you obviously wouldn't want to see a wee kid go without food so we're gonna get something for them so we can hand it to them uh, like biscuits or just something like that so we're currently on the hunt for some kind of shop that would sell like individually wrapped like packaged biscuits i just spotted these police vans behind me and you can see on the back of them it says mobile toilet i wonder if that's open to the public because i kind of need to go sadly no luck buying shoes or buying a selfie stick for a gopro so we're gonna head out of park street and gonna find an ambassador uh, hopefully to take us to go to a bit of a rooftop like you know like a bar cafe type place get a drink either alcoholic or non-alcoholic preferably alcoholic this is the second or third ambassador I've seen with a big dodgy like door lock from the inside that seems to be a bit of a theme at the minute went into Spencer's selfie stick nay so I'm gonna have to try another day is that a song by take that try another day or is it just stay another day probably just stay another day either way banger of the tune so onward to the rooftop bar which I think it's not a bar actually I don't even know if it serves alcohol Well, this looks like fun so leaving the disco lift I'm going to walk down this fancy corridor 
Now, because I film in 60 FPS, the lights all appear to flicker, um, but in real life they don't flicker. But I need to look into tunes of that. Hi. Ooh, this is very fancy. You can't actually see me right now, probably, but they've got all this kind of like dimly lit, uh, kind of lit up brick effects on the wall. Very cool looking. And this nice fancy shade, which looks pretty cool. So we're just gonna pay. So, in the end, that was kind of crappy. As soon as we walk in, they're like, you're not allowed a camera. Which, as a foreigner, you're just like, what? Like, I don't know, that kind of control over what people do were, you know, they're kind of, it's like, it, and it, it's not a public place, but it's not like a private member space, right? So it's kind of like a public bar, like anyone can go in. Obviously, like any private establishment, they can disallow people and so on, but I just find that a bit, like, weird. But anyway, decided to go in. It's very loud here. Decided to go in, ordered a couple of drinks, and we were like, oh, uh, we can't have ice, so will this still be cold? And the bartender was like, yeah, we, we can make them so that they're still cold without ice. They are like, right, okay, sweet, we'll have this and this. And then he came back and he's like, can't make them cold if they don't have ice. Um, but if you want them to be cold, I can put ice in them. And that's after telling them 10 times that we can't have ice. So it was just like, no, okay, I'll have um, like a spirit in a mixer, you know, like vodka and Diet Coke. Uh, and he said he could do that cold. But the whole thing literally took so long that um, we ended up that we just didn't really have time to spend in there. So we just got up and left. So, and to be honest, I'm fairly happy with that. Like I don't really want to give my money to a place that's not great and like you can't have your camera and all that stuff. It just, but tonight I might be going somewhere. So I'm going to dinner for a birthday. And then after that, I think we'll try to find somewhere similar, um, but we'll see. We're at this place waiting to go in, always has a big queue. So we've been here for about half an hour and hopefully we'll be getting in soon because there's a lot of hype built up about it. A few moments later. Okay, I think I just went to a strip club. I'm off Park Street and I don't know, for those of you who know the area, let's just say, because I don't want to give out the name of the place, let's just say you had to be 21 or over to get in and that was indicative in the name, right? Went to dinner, just looking for somewhere to have one before getting an Uber home. So nothing crazy, just literally have one and found this place has good ratings on Google didn't really look at the photos but it looked decent so only five minutes walk away from where we had dinner we went in and immediately it was just something like something was a bit off because as soon as you walk in basically the bar is like behind you on the left because it's table service in this place there's a raised like stage on the left so it's basically a long thin room and the left half has like a stage area with lights to come up from beneath and then on the right hand side there's a walkway up the middle and there's like chairs against the back wall so there's almost like this breakfast bar along the front of the stage it had casino vibes so as soon as we walked in the weird thing was all the women were on the stage and all the men were on the right at the seats. There were women all sitting along the back of the stage and then there was this one woman up and she was just doing this wee dance show on her own. This guy like kind of grabbed us and was like, here, come with me. And he pulled us up, up through these stairs, up to like a wee private, what felt like a viewing gallery. So there were seats on the left and seats on the right. Almost, yeah, it was like, it, it had like, private box at a theater vibes where we're now looking down on the on the whole thing so the on the right hand side you had all the girls on the stage and on the left you had all the men 
but from this vantage point we could see that all the men who were lined along the stage all had wads of cash like like bank rolled with the paper around it wads of cash we're sitting going all right what's going on here and then in between each individual performer all of the women got up and started dancing so you'd have one or two girls they do a song choreographer dance and then like they go and take a break in that in the meantime all the other girls in the club like stand up and some of them just kind of like stand there and the it was a bit of a mix of dress as well so some were like wearing kind of western style clothes like if i went to a club in london you know it's like that, that type of clothing and then others were a wee bit more traditional indian and a lot of them were just like standing there like not even really dancing but then you had men like throwing money up on the stage onto the girls that were really like giving it their all and they were into it and sometimes there were like money showers where these guys would just keep like showering these women with cash the, the big wads of cash and we we're sitting going what's going on here what actually have we just walked into <laughs> i'm just like getting flashbacks going what the we had table service the whole time but we just wanted one drink and then to get out of there and as soon as we realized how creepy it was we were just like yes get us the bill right now so we can leave as soon as we take our last drop there was a bit of an issue with the card machine i don't know it was all a wee bit shady i i wouldn't be surprised if the credit card got skinned in there to be honest um because that's happened to me before in Lanzarote, so it's just I don't know, the whole thing gave off bad vibes. Bad vibes. So, I don't know what that was. Um, Kolkata, what's going on in there? Maybe I need to look a wee bit deeper into the reviews of places when I'm, you know, instead of just going, oh, pick a bar, five minute walk, 4.5 rating, sweet. It was very like strip club slash human trafficking vibes. And that's not a good crossover to be honest so i think it's home time after that i'll catch you next time